this video, I'll show you how to set up a Skyhoy panel and PCC cameras. We'll end up controlling three cameras and also integrate a video switcher to handle tally lights and camera routing. Let's have a look at the setup. Today, we're using a PTC Pro, cameras from Canon and BirdDog, and an ATEM switcher. But these are just examples. It could be any blue pill panel, and it could be many other cameras and video switchers. You can see a full list of compatible devices on devices.skahoy.com. You'll find a link to this in the description. I've connected Ethernet cables to a switch and set static IP addresses on all devices. I've also connected SDI cables from the cameras to the video switcher and from an AUX output to a small monitor. So we're already hooked up. Here's what we need to do next. Open Reactor and create a new project. Add devices. Choose configuration. Configure tally and routing. And as a bonus, add custom commands to buttons. Many steps are already covered in our video, how to get started with Blue Pill Inside. Please watch that if you think we're moving too fast here. Okay. Let's get started. Step 1. Open Reactor and create a new project. We open a web browser and enter the PCC Pro IP address. Now we see Reactor, the configuration manager for Blue Pill. I prefer to create new projects for my setups, so I'll click Manage Projects in the window top and click Create New Project, name it, save it, and activate it. Now we have a clean slate to work on. Step 2. Add devices. All devices we want to control must be added to the current project. In the right side of the screen, we click Add Device. By default, Reactor will auto discover devices on your network if it's able to. Our network is quite busy, so I'll filter the list by typing Canon. Click Select to add the Canon CR-N500 camera. When adding a device, you'll see the settings window. Since the camera was auto-discovered, we already have the IP address, and after the device core has been installed, you'll see it is connected. The camera is now ready to be controlled. Let's add another device. Click Add Device and select the Canon CR-N300 camera. Again, we see it as connected. Let's do it again and select the BirdDog X120. This time, the Visca device core is installed and the device is connected. Now, let's add the ATEM. Click Add Device. But this time, I want to show it using Add Manually. Here, we can pick from the entire list of supported devices. I'll type ATEM to filter the list and select the ATEM 1ME constellation. The device is still unconnected since we need to enter its IP address. I'll type 192.168.10.69 and click Save. Now you see it is connected. Wow! We now have four devices in our project. Please note, the device cores such as Canon XC, Visca and Atem are automatically downloaded from our server. For this to work, you must have internet access when adding new devices. If you're on a closed network, you can install them manually. This is shown in our video, How to Update Software. All right, let's move on. Step 3. Choose Configuration. We still need to assign commands to the button and knobs on the controller. A fast way to get started is by selecting one of our default configurations. They make it easy to manage devices by pre-populating commands on the panel. The default configuration, Generic PTC Control, is already selected in the menu. 
We could also choose another configuration or make our own from scratch. This configuration has camera slots for easy setup of multiple cameras. Click the Add Camera button, click From Collection and select the Canon CRN500 camera. You see the camera is instantly added to the panel and we now have full control of both PTC movement, presets and a range of parameters. Let's add the other cameras. Click Add Camera and hold the Shift button on your keyboard. This allows you to select multiple items. Click Canon CRN300 and BirdDog X120. Both are added to the buttons and we can now control all three cameras even though one is from a different brand. You can change the sort order by simply dragging the camera icons. Great! With full PTC control up and running, many users would be done now. But we'll move on and integrate a video switcher. Step 4. Configure Tally and Routing In many default configurations, it's possible to tweak settings directly on the home page. The current configuration is made for PTC cameras, but it also has easy video switcher integration using Tally Forwarding and Routing Trigger. Tally Forwarding means listen to program and preview on a video switcher and based on this, light up buttons on the panel and lamps on the camera. So, if you select input 3 as program, the camera connected to input 3 will have its lamp turned on, letting people know that this camera is on air. The Skahoy panel is in fact a tally format converter between video switchers and cameras. Alright, let's set it up. We have already added an ATEM to our project, so we just need to click the Add button and select the ATEM. Remember, we use an ATEM today, but this could be VMIX, TriCaster, Kairos or others. Now we click Tally Forwarding to open the settings. Here we select what to listen for. In this case, it's ATEM Tally for Program and Preview and we select ME Row 1. Finally, we click Camera Selector and enter to which switcher inputs the cameras are connected. Our setup is easy. As Tally Index, we just enter 1, 2 and 3. That's it. When changing program on ATEM, we now see the Tally lights on the PTC Pro buttons and on the cameras. Routing Trigger is next. This means when we press a button on the PTC Pro to select a camera, we also send a command to the video switcher to route that camera to an output. This is super handy. We select a camera and it's automatically routed to the monitor in front of us using an AUX output on the video switcher. Let's do it now. We click Add and select the ATEM. Then we click Routing Trigger to open the settings. Here we select how to route. We choose AUX and select AUX Output 1. Finally, we click Camera Selector and just like we did with Tally, we link the cameras to the switcher inputs. In Route Index, we just enter 1, 2 and 3. Now, when we select a camera on the PTC Pro, we also send this camera's feed to the small monitor in front of us. That's so convenient. After this, there's only one more thing I want to show you. Bonus info. Add custom commands to buttons. You may want to add just a few custom commands to the buttons. This could be ATEM Play Macro 3 or ATEM Cut or CRN500 Do Focus One Shot, it could be whatever. This is of course doable. Just as you can build your own configuration from scratch, you can also modify a default configuration. This is done on the configuration page. Click Configuration page. 
Here we see a graphic representation of the panel. In the page button we make sure that we are on the correct configuration and have selected the user section. Default configurations are made up of multiple layers and on top we have made an empty layer called user section. So if you assign commands in the user section they will take precedence. But beware, they may even hide other commands below. Ok, let's add a command. On the PTC Pro we have some available buttons. Click one to select it. Now we see all devices in the inspector and can select commands. I'll open Atom, open Macro and select Play Macro and select Macro 1. That's it. Play Macro 1 is now assigned to the button. Let's do one more. Click a button to select it, open Atom Transition, select Cut and select ME Row 1. Alright, we can now control Cut on the Atom. Let's do a last one. This time we want to recall camera presets from two cameras at the same time. Click a button, open CR in 500, open Presets and select Recall Preset. Preset 1 is already selected. Now click Add Behavior. Close Canon and open Bird Dog. Open Presets and select Recall Preset. Here we want Preset 3. Finally we select that the display is linked to the first command. Wow! We now have one button that recalls presets from two different cameras. If you no longer need a command, you can delete it by simply right clicking the button and select Delete Behavior. We're done! Now you know how to do a basic PTC setup, integrate a video switcher and even add your own custom commands. Please watch our other how-to videos on reactor setup and configuration. You'll find links to these in the description. Thank you for watching.